what I'm showing in this video is how to possibly fill in forms that are blocked due to copy and paste or whatnot. Basically what this is is when you right click and you say paste it doesn't come up to right click or if you use the control V it doesn't paste what is clipped to the clipboard. So how would I fill out a long URL website link that's encrypted or has all the characters and all that stuff and some of them I've been doing are like probably like a hundred characters long so it's almost impossible to type that and being quick anyways especially when you're cop trying to copy and paste an internet link or whatever it is so I found out in Microsoft Edge Chrome most browsers I guess is if you press the F12 key or open up the developer tools that you can gain access to those fields F12 is for Chrome I'm not sure what Edge was so I'm gonna still it was F12 open it up from the settings menus also and from here if I wanted to copy and paste something what I've been doing is clicking the element find button highlighting the text box field underneath the uh, whatever the form name is clicking on that it'll pop up the highlighted code for that box and most of the time it comes up with something that says value blank and value means there has been no text entered into that box so there is no value sometimes if you look at the box it sometimes says email URL or something example.com you would erase the example.com or whatever it would say in their URL email address and input what you want so making input is now able to be done and over here what I'll do is off click for myself there's usually two requirements in fields so I click the uh, element find button again highlight the field again of what I want to try to fill in and double click again where it says value you can also right click and edit the whole line this is only temporarily though this is for each and every web page that you have to do once you submit or the web page refreshes it refreshes with the new code and it erases all the stuff that you temporarily did but it is a temporary way of doing really long lines of text so say a internet link was really long and you didn't want you have to you wanted to copy and paste because that's quick for you plus there's all kinds some of them's encrypted or you know lowercase uppercase numbers and letters or hyphens stuff like that it just gets complicated to try to type uh, a link out like that so as you can see it entered into the box for the website it's basically the same thing value text mysite.com now you can also click on another code, click out of the uh, text box itself, click on the web page, a blank spot to where it's not highlighting anything else, and it'll take you out of the editing mode of that piece of code. So now that all that's there, all that I have to do is fill out what I needed to, and then click like add comment. Now add comment that's another thing like I was saying if I had a long comment 
that or an excerpt from another web page that I wanted to copy and paste and not type out, well, that's going to be complicated when you can't press the control C, control V combination or right click to get the pasting and all that stuff. So, since I selected the field, um, text area, name comment, ID comment. So I was looking at this, and since it doesn't have the value field with the quotation marks, if you know anything about HTML, there's times that you can edit, which I'm going to do a right click on this one, edit as HTML, and right before the tags text area, and at the end of the other tag text area, put in what I want, copy, paste, or type. Testing what I want to paste. And voila, now you got your fields filled. Some you probably don't want to. You'll still have to keep developer's tools. You can close it, but at the same time, don't refresh the page until you've clicked your submit button. And after submit, you have to do this each and every time, but it definitely takes out the hassle of having to try to type a whole lot at once.